you were going to try and head to the optometrist, weren't you? I was. Hello! Welcome to Domestication Friday. I like so good, but I feel so good. <laughs> it's a lie. I said I look so good because I feel so good. Oh, and I just realized, guys, I have one earring because the other one... <laughs> I lost the back thing of my earring today. Yella, ons is jammer, ons is laat. But I just got home a few minutes ago. And toen was ek net bykie my mama bel. So dat sy my kan jammer kry. Niemand kry my so goed jammer, soos my ma and myself nie. That's what Matthew's jobs are for. I know, right? I'm sorry for us and listen to our bullshit. Anyway. So when I got here... Food was made, but the pudding is in the oven, and we're going to take it out now. Yeah, we're going to see how it oh, is. Oh, wait, wait, first say hello. Here's the Georgia. Hey, guys. The English Rose. <laughs> Here's the KP. The KP. The KP. Oh, here's uh, the Victoria's Secret Supermodel. Hi, honey. Excuse me. Where's the other one? Oh, my gosh, it's so nice in the house. Jelle verstaan he, hoe warm is Saudi nie? So this is what uh, Mishka and Georgia made tonight. Let's see how it's... Our couple uh, keys. Does it maybe need a bit longer? Yeah, I think leave it in for a little bit more. Yeah. So we're trying to make uh, bread pudding or the Queen Georgia's pudding or whatever. Queen of puds. Queen of puds. Queen of puds. So we had uh, broccoli and blomkool and wit sauce. And the pasta story. Really, I mean the chicken was and really chicken. good. And chicken. I didn't even have chicken. I just had the I just had the potatoes. The garlic potatoes. I had Yes, the aardappels had me gelukkig gemaakt. And here it work. You know, when I, when I went to buy the vegetables and then I saw that potatoes, I said, no, we're making garlic potatoes because you normally eat like that on a Sunday. Yeah. So instead of eating rice, we ate pasta. Because you yeah. normally make this with yellow rice. You know, so next week, Friday, on what, what? on the Holy Domestication Friday, is our Miss Mishka's um, birthday, and uh, because we don't want Mishka to cook on her birthday, because we don't want Mishka to cook on her birthday, and the risk of having flopped food is very high when Georgia and I cook, uh, <laughs> we decided that we are going. No, listen, did you see what I did last week? <laughs> anyway, we decided that we are going to order food. So, we're going to try, invite a few other nanny friends. Mar, the thing is, we, us as the nanny colony here in Saudi have... We have... We have arranged many the big get-together and then at the last minute... <laughs> Everyone starts dropping out because they're either working late or just too bloody tired. Hashtag nanny life. Yeah, hashtag you know, nanny life. People with this whole corona thing and working 12 hours, it's like, and being like stuck in the house is really good, like yeah. become real bad because there's not really much one can do. And I mean, our host families really doesn't want the kids to go outside. So it is quite like intense being stuck in the house. Oh, there's the other one. Play days. And Oreo hasn't even screamed at me today. Like, I feel kind of offended. Oh, there we go. Thanks. Now I feel more like you acknowledge my presence. Hello. Oh, he's saying hi to the Uaverse. Hi, Oreo. Hi. You want to squeeze? Oh, it's a squeeze. Kijk je dit ding? Hou niet van liefde nie. No! On its way, no? No! <laughs> Listen, it's nice if it's creamy, creamy, eh? Creamy, creamy. Wie van jylle het al broodpudding gebak? Hoe lang het jylle op vorm in die oond gesit? Or Queen of Pud, what do you call it? Uh, queen, so I thought that Queen of Puds was bread and butter pudding, but I spoke to my mum today, and she's like, no, Queen of Puds is a slightly different thing. It's still got custard, and like the bread and butter, but apparently there's like strawberry jam. Because, oh. because my dad used to love Queen of Puds, so we would always have Queen of Puds. And I thought it was this, but it's, slight, it's similar, but slightly different. So this isn't actually 
But I thought oh. when you made the custard, I think you had to make like double batch. Yeah, I should have made a bit more. So I, I did tell her that. Yeah, I should have listened to Mishka. I was like, should I make some more custard or should I take the top layer of bread off? So I just took the top layer of bread off. <laughs> Which means if it's but good, then I'm food. again not going to share it. <laughs> yes, I, I was telling like you. Like I was telling Georgia earlier, I said for two weeks in a row she made dessert and I did not eat one piece of it. She said, so she said last week she had like a small little bit and then you ate it. Even. What? From what? The roulade. Oh, the roulade. Yeah, but that wasn't last week. Last week was the was the lazy cake, but we even Stevened on the lazy cake. I even waited for Georgia to come home before yeah. I cut it. Because we discussed the roulade situation. Because Georgia <laughs> never told me that she wants to share the roulade. <laughs> <laughs> so, I came back... I mean, why day. would you make such a small little roulade if you're planning to share it? Who shares such a small little pudding? So I came back... That thing was like... It was... You like Leghini? I was so groot. So I make so big pudding and I think she's going to share with her. Two girls. So there I was, after a long day on Saturday, made the real the night before for domestication Friday. And I had some dinner and I'm like, oh, you know, I'd really like a slice of real And the girl was like, that might not be possible. <laughs> Because she's like, I'm like, Georgia, what are you going to eat or something? I can't even remember. And she's like, I think I might just have some, a slice of that roulade. And I'm like, yeah, so um, <laughs> it might not be possible because uh, I might or might not have finished it. I was telling Because it, it was tempting me all day. <laughs> Calling me from the fridge. I was telling Georgia, you posted on the Yua verse, like, like what we should make this Friday. Yeah. So I was, I think it was today or yesterday. It was last week. Like what? Wrong. Yeah. So I said I, I read a lot of people said we must like make tacos and uh, chicken wraps and mm. one person, a couple of people said in previous um, uh, vlogs that we must make tomato food. So I said we must make a list of. But them. you're gonna have to make that no, no, because no, I could no, tomato no, food. I there's no way I'm gonna do that successfully. No, so I said, okay, no, no, I will make it, but we must make like a list of the food. Yeah. And then as we go along, we tick it off. That and we must also write down who suggested it because so we can give them a shout out. Men to like a shout out. I don't know why you let it like us on your shout out when they're on your course flop, I don't know if they like it when we shout out when we flop their recipes, but <laughs> <laughs> but I mean like like we can take turns to because I, I don't Hello like, Bernice Blom. I don't know how good if you like making desserts, but then like we you can maybe like make the dinner and then between the two of us we can make like yeah. dessert. Yeah, or something, yeah. And then I know one person said, I remember saying in Ramadan I would make the booba. What's booba again? The one with the milk and the vermicelli and the sago with condensed milk and roasted it. Why didn't you make it? I feel like I just slightly remember Empty Promise. I don't remember I, it at all, but no, I did let's say pretend I, I do. Make that. That's why I said let's make the list, go through that list. I know tomato food was twice in previous vlogs. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good plan. We can be organized yeah. and plan. Look at these two. Chilling. Chilling like lemons. Ooh, he's gonna bully his sister again. I can see it coming. Huh? He's like, why are you not social distancing? <laughs> you know, that's what I found today. Hello, Marilise Murak. Let's Hello, she home. Hello, silly. I feel like I want to come and make it dessert again for next week, but too, I'll make the booba and the mouth pudding. For your birthday? Oh. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Come I do can it. do that. Yeah, because like, nothing's fattening when it's someone's birthday. <laughs> True. True. And a road trip. No kind then of I will make, I will make it here. Trip. I will make it here and then mm -hmm. I will come later next week and then we can. The the mumba pudding was that like the, the one almost with, a bit like sticky toffee pudding? Yes, yes, yeah, yes. yeah, that was nice. Yeah, that reminded me of sticky toffee pudding. Hello, Moniz. No, Hello, John Marie. Hello, Yulandi. We should do banoffee pie. What's that? Chart. Hello, ooh, banoffee, the, the banana. Banoffee it's like banana, banana caramel, uh, cookies. Ooh, no, custard. I do you like banana? Good. I do. I have caramel at home in, the, in my cupboard. Yeah. I want to make pancakes and, and <laughs> I want to make so many things, but it's like no time to make it. Oh, Alexa mm -hmm. says her hubby loves booba. But Alexa, we don't talk about the booba that's in your bed. We talk about the booba pudding. <laughs> it's, a booba is 
like a, it's like a drink that you drink. Oh. It is nice and thick because the sago makes it thick. So you make it with um with almonds also the uh, almond flakes. Yeah. So what you do is you you with a with a um butter and the vermicelli you brown it the vermicelli. Oh my gosh, people are complaining about Oreo again. Yella, the cat is not an asshole. This all stop it. What are they saying about Oreo? He's freaking out by some light in the background or something. Oh, for freak's sakes. No, people, this is, not, this is what they do every yeah. day. Something in the background. I don't know, it's a scarpie. She says, this Denk daar die scarpie in the achtergrond, freak om uit. It's just the evening. It's time, maybe your people talking about, about the red light of the TV, maybe? I don't know what's a scarpie. What's a scarpie? I have no oh, idea what's a scarpie. <laughs> I don't know. Georgia, what's a scarpie? No, I don't know. Yella, the cat is not an asshole. This all. Okay? Yeah, Los for my. And this is why this every Friday with each other. He's chilled all day. They're both chilled all day. And then in the evening. Does he look stressed to anyone? Can everyone tell me, please? Like the cat feel like a stress? Hello, Velma. Uh, Velma. Have, have they not seen your pictures of when I mean, you were on your heels during the day? And he's just like. Ugh. Like veg, he's been veg the whole day. Say, leave a freak on my knee, knee, or what? A scarpy. Does he scarpy with the might freak? Need to say, leave a the might freak. But I mean, they're not fight with us, it's just the cats out there. Yeah, they play fight. So it's usually like this time, just before. Settling down. Bedtime, and then, like, first thing in the morning, dusk time, they go a bit crazy. You are for your November. Sunny, yes, slum! Sunny, a slum! Yeah, so, Mishka for your Volgende Friday, Jelle. 21 so, plus 15 years. Our sai. <laughs> It's quite funny. You and I have this thing with the boys at the moment where they'll ask. Why don't you make that quick yeah. fridge cheesecake, like, condensed I'm milk, double cream things. yogurt, and tennis biscuits? Ooh. No, it's not nice. I've tried it already. Really? Not uh, like a. It's not nice. I think you put it like for four minutes in the, in the microwave. I've tried it. If they're talking about that one, mm -hmm. it's not nice. Yes, Alexa, I wish we could make peppermint crisp tart, but you don't get peppermint Ooh. crisp chocolates here. No, no. That sounds yummy. Peppermint, it, it's very really delicious. Maybe we can still ask Chandra to bring peppermint crisp yeah. chocolates. Her bag is not full enough. <laughs> Listen, people, when I came back in October, you had to actually DH the other box before I came with the, like, the nannies of my house so that one bag was literally full of your worst things <laughs> and of our so called experience. But listen, you know what I was thinking what we can actually try and do, for real? Mm -hmm. Because, you know, Chris sends DHL packages this side all the time. Yeah. And there's international South African shops in the UK. We could actually just ask him if we, he can buy us a few things there and just chuck it in the box that he's sending anyway. That's a good idea. I just don't know how we get money to him. Oh, but you have a UK account. Yeah, I've got UK Georgia account. will pay him. Maybe <laughs> Georgia has lots of money. <laughs> Georgia will buy. But let's do that for real. Because I was telling boss today, I want him to taste rusks. No, but does the, mm. does, is the family not going to the UK? But the no. Going to, going to America. But there's some of the stuff that we might... Yelle Kremitz Peppermint Crisp in America. Do you know I'm what? Sure there must be. Yes, there should be. But now you see the nanny's also leaving on Friday because next, now next week Friday because I could have... Is you all all from South Africa? Yeah, Alfred, we are all from South Africa. No, 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 no. Georgia is not from South Africa. Georgia is a British lady. Yeah, She's from the coming. United uh, Kingdom. Yeah, <laughs> the United yeah. Kingdom, from the Queen's land. And I'm she also coming. drinks tea like the Queen. Yeah, I don't know. Do you drink tea? I've given up on tea. The only tea I drink is rooibos tea. Mm, no, I'm, a, I'm definitely There's a tablet a of iets achter Mishka. A tablet? Where is a tablet? This is a photo ram, this is a digital photo frame, Jelle. Yeah. And the photo frame is not freaking out the cat. The photo frame has been here for two years and the cat too. Okay? <laughs> Rock it for my rustig, mensen. Oh my gosh. You just All these cat evening. experts drive Someone me nuts. Someone said you don't get peppermint crisp here in the UK. For reals? I'm sure you must in the UK. I'm sure you must get like peppermint chocolates. 
Can I miss it? You South African shops near here. This arts here. I have missed. Siska says, "Men's of a claw." I'm gonna translate. People who complain about cats obviously do not know cats. They have their own personality. We need to do a vlog one day. Maybe we should day. we should do a podcast with Oreo, so people can see. <laughs> Who's moody and here? Kijk, hoe is Moody? Someone's and so. this is uh, Moody. Ek gaan nou nee. Julle sê ons geen nie vir hom aandag nie. Ek gaan vir hom squeeze. Julle gaan sien, hy soek het nie. Kijk, hy loop al klaar weg. Ek soek eers na by hom nie. Partij keer nee, dan le hy. Dan laat hy, dan laat hy, dan kan jy hom lekker squeeze vir 5 sekundes voor hy weer begin skree. Listen, talking about road, was die in the UK. So someone asked, because we went August of 2019 to the UK. It was like my first time. Hy is a introvert julle. Sorry, he's an introvert. So somebody asked you to go inside the bucket of this. I said no because the, road, um, the, the, the queen doesn't have a room. So I said no, it's fine, don't let me in. <laughs> <laughs> Take me back any day to London. And if you don't though. have rubbish tea, I'm not coming in. <laughs> John Marie wants to know, Georgia, do you only drink Earl Grey tea like a real Brit? Uh, yeah, pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> so predictable. Yeah. I do like Earl Grey. Sometimes a nice Twinings English breakfast. Twinings is my favorite like brand of tea. So Hello, Earl Colleen Grey, Fraser. Breakfast. And I, I wish I liked coffee. I love the idea of coffee and I love the smell of coffee. I just. But I can't eat English breakfast anyway, so I don't need to eat. But I can eat everything else mm. on it. Oh, sausages, Oh bacon, my gosh, bacon. Georgia, when we're in America, we have to eat bacon every day, seriously. Oh will gosh. they cook us bacon in the people's pool, or will we have to go out for bacon? Probably have to go we are, he's going to stay in the house or in the hotel? Yeah, in the house. But we each have our own room, which is nice. No, yeah. I mean, I'm sure there's a restaurant that's close by. The beach no, there will yeah, be yeah, places yeah. for sure, but remember, we're 24-7 on obtains. No, yes, I know that thing. Yeah. Because I mean, I must say, have you traveled with the twins? With, with the twins. Family. To Jeddah, yeah. No, but you haven't traveled out. Yeah? No, not abroad. Until, uh, Georgia, your experience is different to mine. But traveling is the freaking worst. Because you sleep with, after they have slept yeah. and you were up before they awake. Listen, yeah. Georgia's experience is probably worse than yours because she was alone with them for 10 weeks. She was the only nanny. Sleeping in the room. Okay. Yeah. With them and everything. Yeah. With yeah. no off day for 10 weeks. Now at least I'm there. Yeah. Well, I had one day off. In the two weeks that we went to London, me and May, the Filipino nanny, we had the best day ever. I mean, shopping at Trimark. I like left with a, oh, a big Primark. bag, a traveling bag full of clothes yeah. and bags and shoes and begging. And like, I went, boss, went up shopping <laughs> at Trimark. Yeah. Karen really says, Georgia, like you are a real lady. Always so beautiful. Oh, thank you. Audrey? Ek het by die huis gekom en aand het was klaar gekook, soos twee goeie huisvrouwe. <laughs> sorry is... people, we would won't happen yeah. again. We sorry, we humbly apologize. So, today so was a bit of a there was potatoes, there was a broccoli, jylle hierdie was flippin, flippin lekker. En a pastakie en a chicken. Maar, jylle is nog betijds vir die brood. Georgia has a bun in the oven. <laughs> A sweet bun. So you are still in time. Listen, are you supposed to leave the courses on the bread for she the bread pudding? Off. Oh, really? Yeah, she yeah the crust off. is off. Take the crust off. Are you sure? Yeah. yeah. What is your definition of crust? No, did I saw she the cut the bits off. off. The bits off the side. Like maybe oh. around the edge. Yeah, cut the crust off into triangles. Georgia and Yella sell work. Kai keys, but okay, I can't do that once. I'm sorry. Peter says it looks delicious. No, I Almarie says it looks delicious. I saw you said Edward was on one of the past four He was, he was oh. back the other day. Edward's back. Edward's back. Edward, where are you? I miss you. I miss <laughs> the, your comments and stuff. Please, if you want, comment and say hi. We miss you. Where's Edward? Edward! Rina Bota says it looks delicious. 
Anyway, but guys, what I was thinking for next week, I have a few cool games we can play. Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah we That's play easy, that you can just that. play like on a table and stuff like that, like easy peasy lemon squeezy games. Mm. Lucky Shelly says, all the food looks yummy. Moniz mm -hmm. says, thy broccoli bake like, mmm. Moniz, hy was, mmm. Ek gaf versiewe daar stinks so knoffel na die aardappels, maas. For my luck, ah! No, I believe everything must be cooked with, like, for the white sauce, for the pasta, and the broccoli, right? I put garlic in, the white mm -hmm. sauce. I believe garlic must be in everything. To, ch to chase all the demons away that we work with. <laughs> I believe these demons that we we work Lucinda says you look very beautiful, both of you. Thank you. She says you all, but I don't think she's talking about me because I look like dog water today. Nina mm -hmm. says leftovers for Mora. Of course. But can I say, my boss, who is a man, and men usually don't notice things, he told me I had a very cool shirt on today. It is very cool. Yeah. You always have very cool shirt. Thank you, Barbara. My is very clean today. <laughs> En Jullie vroeg eet vanavond. Uh, niet dan nee. Ik het ik het laat die aangekomen. Ik heb ik laat gewerkt. Zo so die girls het kosties gemaakt. En toen ons baas is net geëet. Oh, Liesel gaan een prawn masala. She's gonna have prawn masala oh, nice. and yellow rice. Liesel, Liesel is usually on. I was gonna say this. Ah, you see, Liesel. Even Georgia knows you already. <laughs> And Liesel is a with Macy. Macy. Makes everything better. top, you are, yes, you look like him more vandaag. I'm going to come up, guys. Also, you are the top. It's my hempy. Oh my gosh, I think I messed on my shirt. It feels crunchy. Hello, Yella. I can't see anything. Yes, you look like a train drop, huh? Okay, sorry, I'm going to go for school. I'm going to like it more, Next week, Friday is going to be a good day. Yeah. Amen, sister. So listen, when I went to the new, I got you because I don't know if I'm going to be here for your housewarming party. Oh, you and Elaine have, have a birthday two days from each other. Everyone's asking, can they see me? He is a knayela. He is a knayela. I like me fantastic today. It's my hempy. It's a Shane hempy. Shein. Okay, so here's the thing, eh? Liesel, you have my verkeerd ver, verduidelik. So, Shein, you speak it now, blijkbaar out, Shein. The pronunciation is Shein. Shein. They actually corrected this on their Twitter. The pronunciation is Shein. I don't know if, if it's Shein or Shein. I think it's Shein. Shein. So it's not Shine, and it's not Shane, and it's not. I don't know what else. It's Shein. 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 Okay, people, me and Yoa met on Facebook about three years ago. Oh, yes, tell the story. A lot of people have asked how do the three of us know each other. I okay. keep forgetting so to tell them. So about, you start. About three years ago, Yoa posted something on the South African um, Facebook thing. And then she commented, like, how to work with the royal families and whatever. And then. I explained it because obviously at the time I've, I But just say first, I got some freaking snobby, fieslicke comments of Obviously if people work for the royals, they're not gonna tell you And I'm like, ach, vlieg in jou kanon, block and bless, and to Mishka my ge inbox So I inboxed her and then I explained, I could only explain my situation yeah. Of how I've been, I think at that time I was about two or three years in with the family and I explained to her how it is, and that time, that time I was messenger, we were in Jeddah at the time. Oh. And then I was explaining to her in between, walking in and out with a child, we bought pizza that night also. <laughs> and and Mishka was like, don't come, don't come. <laughs> I'm not even because the girl that got me this job later, they actually her, and she told me the same thing. Don't take the jobs because the Arab people are funny people, and they're like this and like that. And it's like, hard. It's hard. And I'm not going to lie to you. It is, I'm sorry I'm going to swear people. I'm sorry I'm going to use this language. It is fucking hard. <laughs> do people, don't but this is true. Yeah, I've worked yeah. nodig om die waar te beskryf. No, I'm sorry, and I'm apolo I will apologize a million times. I'm sorry, there's no other word to use. Mm. Because 
Like, and I, I explained it, and then Yahua, when we eventually became closer, Yahua thought, you know, Mishka, when, I, when, I, when we started chatting, I thought you were very negative because of, the, of what you were saying. And then only afterwards, when she started working with the royal family, could she then explain to me, Mishka, you were not lying. You were actually telling the truth. And I'm not lying. It is for this, for this type of job, you must not, I'm going to say it in Afrikaans, you must buy a rope your tanay. Buy a buy a. And I'm telling you many times, I'm telling you in my five years here, I still go and cry on my pillow. Mm. I go cry. We all have those days. So. And I'm telling you, yo, what came home today like that? And I mean, it's not easy. It's not the easiest job. Three people, two, two three people have been fired within three months of in my, in my workplace. And I don't work with the two of them. I work for a separate royal family. But I must say, that is an exception because what I have found, uh, I, I don't know in the rich households, I haven't been there long enough, but in the royal households is that they, they sit with these useless freaking people and these people just don't get fired. And these they people also, idiots. yeah, the word. absolutely. And these people are, are not productive. They're not effective and they don't try to be because there's no consequences for well, being actually. useless. But I, I think in our house, if anyone was, useless they would get reprimanded oh, yeah, yeah. because I, I must say our employers are very uh, uh, vocal they're not scared to talk to you about things which I really really appreciate but uh, the, the royals what I have found about the royals is that they don't like confrontation so they would rather have that useless person and just get another person to to uh, uh, compensate for the lack of productivity than actually get rid of the useless person. Yeah. Yeah. And then they end up with another useless person. They have just two <laughs> useless people that they have to pay a salary. They could actually have half the staff, pay them more, and have a productive you know, staff hold in the yeah. house. But I, I must say, like, in my five years with my family, a lot of people have worked five to eight months and was fired or told just to leave or they wouldn't because they were for one not doing the jobs correctly mm. not doing as the, what the princess has said things like that and yes like i was i was told by my son i called him my son you are a robot you don't tell me what to do you you do what i say and you need to jump i was told to not sit next to you but i must wash your ass at the same time yeah because you're making me feel uncomfortable so what a hypocrite are you at the age of, of almost nine years old? Yeah. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. So there are times when you must just learn to shut up, zip your mouth and throw the key away, and there are times when you really do need to speak up. Yes. Yeah, it's hard. It's, it's really hard. And it's also, like I, I described, I met another nanny um, earlier the year, and she was here for three months, and she was talking about how exhausted she is and I say to her no one will understand what you're going through unless yes, they're yeah, living yeah. it because it's really hard to explain to a person the mental and emotional exhaustion that you experience if they don't do it themselves because you, what people don't realize is when you teach in a school you have a group of students who you see two or three times a week and that rotates. And at the end of the day, they are sent home. But when you are a nanny or a governess, you are basically helping parents raise their kids. So you have the same kids all day, every day. And uh, you have to kind of just like go by what the parents want. It's a different culture. It's a different language. It's a different country. It doesn't work like what we are used to. And you need to accept and respect that that is just how it is. No, yeah. and I, like I, for example, I'm also a Muslim. I'm from South Africa. I'm a South African Muslim. But my culture from South Africa and the culture here are too different. No, but, but it will be because this is, it's a different country. It's, remember, this country is a lot more conservative. They, they're coming out of the out of the box now a little bit but i mean uh we were even talking about i was talking to my employer about it yesterday and she said she can't believe it's the same country than what it was five years ago which yeah. is I'm, let no i mean i'm here five years and yeah. in my five years that i've been here you know how many things have changed and we have spoken about it we had more police mm. we, like for me i'm a muslim i don't read covered i will go out in my abaya without the scarf on 
So Mok, and I, you've not experienced that, right? The two of you. What? No. The Mok police. The religious police. Yeah, yeah. the, the, the yeah. Mutawa, what they call it here. Mm. I mean, we used to sit at the restaurant and they tell us cover your face. Women at that time didn't work with the men in the same, um, uh, what you, in the malls. Women didn't drive. Women, like back then, women and men used to sit separately. Singles but inside. women, yeah. women were not even allowed to pay at a store. You had to have a male. Uh, 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 do you call okay. it a accomplice? No, I not in my time at IBM. Oh, okay. But how it worked earlier days yeah, is when you that. went to uh, uh, supermarkets or whatever, you had to take a male chaperone with you, and that person, you, you as a woman, were not allowed to pay. Mm. This is what I read anyway. Whether it's yeah. true or not, that I don't know. Uh, but I do know, until recently, a woman was not allowed to go to the doctor alone. You had to take a male with you. Okay, yeah. I don't know about that. In my five years, I've never experienced and I mean, I've been to the hospital here many times. I've had three stitches in my foot, five in my stomach. Mm. <laughs> Mishka, aren't you glad I didn't listen to you and that I came anyway? Of course! Without you with us, I wouldn't be... Uh, I must say, I, I actually want to... I mean to keep telling, but I, I actually want to thank you. Because, like... I know Corona has made shit for everybody and like even with being stuck at home for seven months like I still just chat like to Joanne and stuff and whatever but I mean like the like you were the only two nannies that I actually see and that I can say like you know fuck you well, you know today was a bad day yeah. you know <laughs> like, like I messaged them like, like Saturday I came to work and I said yo well, you know what the nanny was fired I'm like I gone one day and this shit is happening like what the hell is happening for like two nannies in three months is fine. Yeah. I'm like, oh my god, and it's like, yeah, what? I don't know what to do. Please help me. You know, I'm losing my marbles here. <laughs> okay, Georgia, how did we meet? So we first met about, I think it must have been nearly a year and a half ago. Yeah, probably. Uh, I think it was like January last year before Corona. Um, it was, I think it was for a birthday of one of our nanny friends. I think, I think it, it was, was jo Joanne's Anne's birthday. Yeah, I think it was Joe's yeah. birthday. But wasn't I also yeah, at Yeah, birthday? you were there as well. At, ca at Cafe Patil. Yes. Yeah. No, how come I didn't see you? You were sitting at separate corners. I was sitting uh, next to you. Corners. Because Georgia was sitting, I remembered exactly Claire, Claire was still very pregnant yes, yes. and Claire and Georgia were sitting at the one end of the table and in front of me and you were sitting two per, it was next to me was someone and you were next to that person and I was sitting next to you oh. and then what is the other lady the oldest lady with the short hair uh, Julia Julia yeah. Yeah. Ach, Julie Julie Sorry, Julie or Julie or something like that yeah yeah, so that was the first time we met at um, that kind of birthday party brunch. And I thought, this girl seems really cool. And then we bumped into each other, I think at a birthday party or something, didn't we? We bumped into it each was other at that, that soft play thing at Woosh. Oh, at Woosh, it? yeah, at Woosh. Yeah. And also, you were also at the birthday party, that wild birthday party where there wasn't enough food for all the kids because everyone was going on like vultures. But we, all, oh, yeah, the me. first time we also met was at I think Julie's house. It was me, you, Julie, and Joanne. When and was the first time that we oh, met in Christmas. person? That was no. a Christmas party. No, at Julie's house. Julie. But wasn't that the Christmas party though, or yeah, was it before I, the Christmas party? No, it was before the Christmas party. Ah, that's the first time we met in person. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and and then obviously Corona happened, and we obviously didn't really see each other during that time. Yes, I am from Cape Lost touch a bit. But then after Corona, we reconnected. Um, Through my, Claire. Yeah, my colleague Claire was still here at the time. Um, and so you used to come over and hang out with me and Claire, chill with me and Claire. Um, and then it turned out we needed someone to fill Claire's role. So we said, you up, would you be interested in this? And then here we are. J just here we are. Just, to, just so sh show your face that people are asking, where are you? Um, you're like, like, good morning. People, I'm telling you, if we don't have each other, I think we all would have been, <laughs> we all would have been busy. Yeah, no, you definitely need some friends. Yella, oh, yeah. you are supposed to cast this boat. How's the uh, bread and butter pudding going? Oh, do we not have a timer? I think oh, listen, it's starting to look like a for real. Oh. Give me a furky. Shall we give it a go or do you think it's No, I think let's give it a few more minutes, but it's looking for reals like a... So, 
moet ik die drie pinnen zien. Oh, nee, voor real, jullie. Halak, laak, ha. I think let's give it maybe five or ten minutes. Okay, cool. It smelled like Christmas earlier with the sultanas and the cinnamon. Smelling like Christmas. Great, because you are from I've seen someone from where you are from then. You are from Bloemfontein. Bloemfontein. Wie die vrouw gevraagd? Zijn het gevraagd? Ik die vrouw ze van gezien, maar ik niet naam gezien. Is het een nieuwe mensie? Welkom, welkom. Samuel Georgia, it lovely man is what a stunning girl. No, thank you. Yeah, I was saying the one time on a vlog when Georgia swears at you, it also sounds fancy. Ik kan spelen zo mijn euro blij. Dat kap wat meisje. Burgers voort in blijna en blijft hij niet aan drie burgers door. Ik het groot geworden in Burgersdorp in die Oostkap. En uh, nou het ik een huis in Bloemfontein. Ik het Bloemfontein toe gaan toe ek in snert 8 was. Toe word ek een kosthuis brakkie. Toe gaan woon ek in Bloem. Is dit een etje weet op Bloemfontein? Dit is grade 10. Grade 10, sorry. Graad 8. Dit is een etje. Sorry, sorry. Nadia sê, you ladies have interesting jobs. I commend you for doing it and being away from your families. Yeah, that's the three musketeers. <laughs> and I don't get me wrong, it is, it's tough, but it's very rewarding as well. Yeah. Really yeah. rewarding. There are parts of it that are really tough, but parts of it that are really rewarding as well. And obviously, you know, we're here for various reasons, because we love the job and because we have a like a plan for the future that hopefully the money from... Listen, you can't... No, no, absolutely. Future. You can't... It is good money, but you can't, you can't, you won't survive just for the money. You won't. The money is obviously very good motivation, yeah. but if you do not have a genuine passion for children, you will not be able to do this. No, you, not even for the money. No, and I fully agree because I've made a lot of um, UK nannies that have been working, even for like my royal family's family, like siblings and stuff. Mm. And a lot of them even haven't lasted six months to yeah. a year. One of the Nannies that worked with Joanne, she lasted a year and she went back to the UK. A lot of them come yeah, in Namibia or something. As but there's a lot of people like who who haven't lasted, and I I had this conversation with with my employer a, a day or two ago, where she said, with this kind of job, you either have it or you don't, mm. and she said I have it. <laughs> so, but anyways, but but and and that's true. In this kind of job, it's hundred yeah. percent true. You either have it or you don't, and it's not. Like if you are a good babysitter, you can do this, or if you were a good au pair, you can do this. Yeah. It's it's a different, it's a different dynamic. It's like what you were saying earlier. Lots of people come over here as teachers um, for uh, kind of like learning roles, and obviously they're good at the education side and good at the teaching side, but they don't have any experience with like the childcare side, so they don't, so they they can't really look after the children and connect to the children and that. Like, it's like, but they're great with the teaching but yeah, yeah like, absolutely like for sorry example, georgia for your the first january and somebody asked what what when in november do you 5th of november remember remember the 5th of november and so georgia's I'm easy it's the f yeah and georgia's easy it's the first day of the year yeah first of january i'm a new year's baby sonia i was a trolley i was in central in bloemfontein Mensen, ik is niet getrouwd hier. Ik is niet getrouwd. Ik draag me niet aan op mijn vangen. Ik is niet getrouwd hier. Zij wil graag getrouwd zijn. Ik ben wel ziek. Hij moet me een beetje prosting op mijn kapper komen zetten, want ik is niet. Zo zei. En dus weer in de ring van mijn vingers, want hij is getrouwd. Zij zoek, zoals jullie van iemand weet, Mishka zoek een oudere, jong, wel niet jong, niet niet te jong, niet, maar hij moet vruchtbaar zijn. Moslim man, hij mag Indian zijn of een kalad. Maar hij is ook een wit light en hij is maar racistisch. Sorry people, let me tell you. Let me tell you. Oh maas wit, maar hij is ook een wit man. Nee, ik lijk zie wat ik lijk. Wit chicken nee, ik lijk. Dat is zo hoor, dat dat wit chicken. Dat is nou de legende van. The wit chicken. I want wit chicken. Sappige, sappige hoenerkie. So listen, I since I've worked here now for five years, I cannot speak Cape Town English because nobody understands my English. So since working here, I have to, I can't say the rat ran over the road. I must say the rat ran over the road. You, otherwise, nobody understands what I'm saying. Uh -huh. I, there are times Georgia has obviously gotten used to. 
my quick speaking. Do you understand her? Usually, yes. <laughs> but listen, the, the staff was telling me the other day, they struggle sometimes to understand Georgia, but they understand me very clearly. Oh, yeah. So, I don't know if I'm going to be a good person. No, I'm going to be a good person. No, I'm going to be a good person. But I'm not finished with my accent. So Definitely when, not. <laughs> when I go to Cape Town and then I speak, they call it the white accent. And I say, Nigo, Jay-Z, if I need Cape Flats, I prep all the English. I'm like, Nee! Next thing you know, they're going to pressure you to let your two four teeth go. Four tanen trek. Nee, nee, I can't even eat the tanen, nee, I can't even eat four tanen of nee. I'm saving money for my food, now this is in at the back. Okay, so you know, Mishka is a nice Muslim, a nut hooner, who can also ask for a frost. Hi, Mishka, Jay-Z. Mishka wants a wet chicken that can frost the cup cake. He must not be younger than 35 and he, he must not be he must white. He must be younger than 37. Oh, 37, sorry. He must not be younger than 37. Sorry, listen, where's my chip plate before uh, you're yeah, well, uh, yeah. That's my Just plate. give Mishka her own listen, plate. Listen, listen. So I was talking, I, I don't know if I'm going to be here for your house warming because I think What's I What's this nonsense? Don't start your nonsense. No, listen, I have... Money for my journey. Georgia said, let Georgia just say it. Look, Georgia does it so well. The kids are also doing it now. Listen, talking about Afrikaans, Basima tells me yesterday, why are you teaching Soto a new language but not me? Because I since like we were in Jeddah, I said, now I tell Soto on Bantu Hajay, but I said like in a bad Afrikaans man. She said, ask me, oh, what does that mean? I said, where are you going? Now, every time I ask him, why to he obviously replies in English. I'm going yeah. to the toilet, why she's going upstairs. <laughs> and then he says, ooh, chai is footer. So I said, okay, now what do you call this? Stangblayer. <laughs> like, I, teach him, I teach him things that he mustn't say in front of other people that I can understand. Like his one cousin speaks uh -huh. really badly. Then I will say so constant blah and then he will say, Ooh, too much, too much. <laughs> okay, let's hold the pudding out. Let's toast it. Ooh, I like laka. I don't want to kick you. Uh, Sharon, I will be 36. You know what I want? Give me, I'll take it. Give it to me. I'm a strong woman. I'm a bit of a pansy when it comes to hot stuff. Well, why are I you living with me then? Because I'm hot stuff. I did laugh liquor for a cupcake. I fell straight into that one, didn't I? <laughs> oh, Give me something to put it on! Yummy! I swear I've seen Kors. He is Kors is up in the brood. You're a licht for me. The daughter you didn't know. The one that she... Because it was extra. Oh. But I did see her. Cut off. Oh, the crust on the, yeah, on the extra what ones, What ones yeah. to taste? Oh, so that was, because, yeah, so the ones on the bottom, they're like cut into triangles and they've got the crusts off, but yeah, these ones. When I knew I had to do another jo, layer. Joy Heidi like, says, oh. Georgia is the best with money for me to know. I don't want a coarsey man. Yeah, maybe get one of these nice corner bits. Wait, I think I have a happy. Oh, he's a happy. Mm. <sighs> Is it all right? Oh, I like the smell of the cinnamon in here. And the, yeah, it smells like Christmas. Yes, Joe, when we were making the dinner, and so Joe just says it smells like Christmas in the house. Hot? It's next to your food. Oh. Yes, definitely, definitely will not Mishka be like that. Mishka is my type. My tip. <laughs> so I don't really know. Taste it. Tell me what you think. I don't know where you are. I think I'm going to go for my food. I think I'm I don't know. I think I like it. Who's tasting first? It's hot. Very nice. Just needs a little bit of sugar. A bit more sugar. We should have put more brown sugar on it. On the top, yeah. Horror, yeah. horror! I'm too worried to eat it. 
don't do a meal. But you don't know I'm not far from the girls. We all stay in the yard. I just stay 20 minutes, no, about 15 minutes, 12 to 15 minutes away from them. Okay, but let's be honest, everything's 20 minutes away in the yard. <laughs> Pretty much. Do you teach your children Afrikaans words? Yes. So, uh, um, Anthea, my sinki, uh, I didn't teach it to him to him on purpose. We were busy with school. And he was writing, uh, I'd lelik geskryf. And I said, nee man, jy jaag kakkan. <laughs> and uh, suddenly he said to me, but in the best pronunciation, what does jy jaag kakkan mean? And I died laughing. I literally started yelling, jylle weet as jy lach laat jy heil. Ek kon nie gloe die kind sê dit so perfect achter my aan nie. That boy has a very good ear though. Very, and very. And then probably two days later, um, uh, uh, I was putting cream on his face and I put too much, I can't even remember what happened and suddenly he just goes, you are, jy jaag kakkan. How does this child still remember it? And uh, it was it was so good. So now he says it often. And now I taught him Muni for my tuni. But it's funny. My boss also said today Muni for my tuni. She was like, "How do I say it? How do I say it?" And she also says it really good. So it was oh, it was hilarious. And uh, so yesterday he says to Georgia, I said, "Tell Georgia what you can say," because he's oh he said to Georgia, "Can you speak U.S. language?" And Georgia's like, "Yeah, I can say lacquer." And he's like, what else? And then Georgia says, Muni for my chin. He's like, ah, you copied that from me. <laughs> um, no, you were talking about that before. Muni, Muni for my chin. And I sing Jan Pirovid. Isn't it so funny how he just randomly bursts out into Jan Pirovid every now and then? It's like when we were sitting having lunch the other day and we could hear him. Yeah. So uh, I taught the parrot to whistle Jan Pirovid. And then the boys asked me, what is the song I'm teaching the parrot? So I said, it's Jan Pirevit. And I said, it's Jan Pirevit, Jan Pirevit, Jan Pirevit, stand still. And then the little boy started singing, Jan Pirevit, Jan Pirevit, stand still. And the other day, I was feeding the rabbit and I came out of the room and he was outside playing. And I just heard him singing to himself, Jan Pirevit, Jan Pirevit, stand still. And I was like, no ways. And yesterday, while we had lunch, the parrot was whistling Jan Pirevit, and then he started singing it. Yeah. So, yeah, hulle begin nou so bykie met die Afrikaans. Of die kleinkie, die kleinkie, nie die grote. I don't say no, I say nie. Don't tell me nie. Go away. I'm sorry by the time I leave this children speak Afrikaans. No, sir. That whole family and the bird is going to speak Afrikaans by the time I leave. <laughs> Georgia. And me. Okay, people, we're going to say goodbye to you now. Uh-huh. This is it for Domestication Friday. Mishka, say goodbye. Bye. See you next week. Mishka's looking at herself on the thing. What's up? Because you a delay. No, I'm reading the, the comments. Oh. Goodbye. Goodbye. Bye, everybody. Sorry, like, beloved, for the next time, like, we're more like... I love you. Wir sind lecker, weil uns in uns Pudding ist lecker. Goodbye.